So when does everybody have their HESIs? Anybody have them tomorrow? Yes, Essington does. Tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, Pensacola does too. Okay. I have my I have my schedule somewhere. If everybody could turn their cameras on. Promise I know you're gonna keep yours off. But everybody else. Okay, we will get started um, and see if anybody else wants to join us. So happy, so oh, happy St. Patrick's Day to everybody. I like St. Patrick's Day because my maiden name is Hennessy. So that makes me Irish. So have my corned beef cooking. Anyway. Anybody else have corned beef on St. Patrick's Day? Okay. Okay, so a couple things I want to do today. Um, I want to, um, let's see, uh, pull up the uh, HESI prep, which I'm, let, let me share my screen here. Okay, so you should, can everybody see my screen? Yes. Okay, I'm not gonna go through this because you guys have already completed it, completed it, but um, what you should be using in preparation for your HESI is this study guide, no question. Um, you also need to be using your um, exam reviews that you put together over the term for exams one, two, and three. Um, at this point, there's no need to go back and review. I mean, if you did your, your exam study guides, you have a summary of the concepts that we covered. Okay. Um, so this was your study guide. Um, so yeah, most of you, if not most of you did an excellent job on this. So please use this as your main resource for studying for HESI. I will tell you, like I've said before, this HESI, couple of observations, this HESI is very med surge focused. Okay. You are, there's a lot of, I wouldn't say a lot, but there are OB, there are questions related to OB. There are questions related to pediatrics. There are several questions related to geriatrics, gerontology, fundamentals, OBP, med surge, I said, med surge, OBPs um, from your fundamentals, um, but it's very heavily med surge focused. Okay. So you're pulling from all your different classes to get the information, okay? You the 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 assumption is that you have the knowledge and now we have to apply it to um clinical judgment. Okay, the HESI is very it's a clinical judgment, meaning application, application of your knowledge. Right? Yeah. Couple of um you know, when you're thinking about med search, I'm just reading from the notes I took. Um, when you're looking at your med search questions, a couple of things to be thinking about. Which body system is affected? Okay, which body system is most affected in these med search questions? Okay, prioritizing patient care. Okay, what? Well, what's the patient going to need? Safety, prioritization. Critical thinking, um, visualizing the situation of the question. We're going to go through a couple of PowerPoints in a minute. One PowerPoint is test taking skills for the HESI, and the other is how to develop clinical judgment. So I want to spend some time on those, but I'm just going through my general notes here, right? So you're visualizing the situation and you're asking yourself different questions. Is this a normal scenario? Is it an abnormal scenario? 
Is this a client with a chronic issue or is this an acute issue? Okay, think of risk factors for community. Is this a vulnerable population, part of a vulnerable population, not part of a vulnerable population? For example, is uh, uh, examples of risk. Is the client, in? can you tell if they're insured, uninsured, and how will that make a difference? Are they homeless? Are they not homeless? How will that make a difference? Are they employed? Are they not employed? So you have to think through the big picture when you're thinking about these questions. Okay, think think about um, think about the homeless population, for example, versus somebody who's not homeless. Think of the limited resources they have. So, if you get a question that this is a homeless person, what are you going to make the assumption about? Well, they're homeless. They probably don't have a job. They probably don't have an income. They probably don't have access to physicians. You have to think big picture. Does that make sense? Um, when they do get, um, and I was also because I was, I was uh watching uh I forgot her name, but she do next the next is nurses lady, and um yeah she, she was talking about the homeless population I believe too, mm -hmm. and um she was I'm like just, you go ahead no you can go go ahead I'm just using that as an example, right? You have to think of the whole picture when you're reading the question right yeah. is this an acute illness is this this a chronic illness is this a client that has other comorbidities is this a client that is healthy is this a client that is not healthy uh what are the risk factors involved okay so when you're thinking about would i be able to come back to get results exactly how are they going to come back exactly so when you think about clinical judgment which is what this exam is about. It's your knowledge, taking your knowledge and putting it into practice, into clinical judgment. The first part of clinical judgment, and this is as you're going through reading the question, is recognizing cues, right? What's in the question? What are the cues in the question, right? Then you have to analyze those cues. What do they mean? What do they potentially mean? And then you have... I need to, I need to mute. There's a lot of background noise. Hang on. I'm going to mute some people. So if, if everybody's muted, so if you want to come off mute and ask any questions or contribute, just jump off mute. Okay. So recognizing clinical judgment process, recognizing cues, analyzing those cues. What do they mean? Then start to prioritize. What is this patient going to need? All right, then you start to think about solutions, generating solutions, right? Once you're trying to generate solutions, what actions are you going to have to take to, to accomplish whatever goals you have to get to that solution, right? And then you evaluate your outcomes, right? So that's your clinical judgment process, recognizing cues, analyzing cues, prioritizing generating solutions, taking actions, and then evaluating your outcomes. Okay, because remember the nursing process, and I pulled this from your exam analysis, assessment, planning, evaluation. You need to be thinking,